Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruel to be YouTuber that is trying to be a long no by and today I'm going to try to do a get ready with me a little bit of a longer video maybe and I'm going to use one of the purple palettes that I'm working with but I'm going to do it with a dreamy palette and this isn't like super purple at all I will actually see if I will do something purplish but I think that I will use like Lullaby and Inception and Delirium maybe we will see what I will do and I'm going to chat a little bit and hopefully I get in like a mood to talk about things we will see, I, I never know when I sit down and start a film I never know was going to come out of it. But I also have a new foundation to test out. Um, we can talk about that later. So I'm going to prime eyes and then we get started and I hope that the fan isn't like super annoying. It is so hot. The eyeshadow primer I am using right now is this one. This is from the Swedish brand Glass Gods and it's that base and I bought a white I've talked, I don't know why I bought the white one. Uh, I've talked a little bit about the, the eyeshadow primer from Kaleidos that it didn't like work for me at all. But if I'm going to be honest, I don't know if this works either. With shimmer shades, it holds up so good. With matte shades, it starts to crease. But I'm trying to really... <laughs> figure out how this works so because i have read some comments about it like you need to if you take too much or too little it's not working any good so i'm trying out what's best for me or what's best for the eyeshadow primer and right now i don't know so i will try this today and I've also tried to set my whole lid with um, a shade, but it didn't work either, so yeah, we will see. And I don't know what kind of look I want to do today. Maybe I'm going to do something super quick, I don't know. So, how is it with you? And how is it with me? I am good, I think. I soon start work again. Um, tomorrow is my last day before I go back to work. You will not have this video. In the near future, yes, but super close to when I start. No, I start the 25th of August, I think it is. Today it's 22nd, 23rd. Um... So yeah, and I don't know what I feel about it. I'm not super thrilled, I'm not going to lie. But I... I don't know. But one thing I've talked about this that I worked so much this year. In the beginning of this year, uh, things wasn't as they were supposed to be. I don't want to talk about it too much because I think it's maybe a little bit private and it's not only regarding me but uh, people were sick at my work that wasn't supposed to be sick so we were less people than we were supposed to be um, so now when I come back to work <laughs> I'm not allowed to work overtime anymore because I have worked too many hours in Sweden there is but at my work at least it's a limit uh, at 200 hours overtime and I'm almost at 200 hours overtime after 7 months so that is a little bit of a problem <laughs> but I'm not going to be in any if I work too many overtime hours like if I go over 200 it isn't it's not affecting me as a worker but it infects my 
employer is that the correct term so for me it's nothing but yeah also for like my mental health and um, it's not good to work too much so yeah i guess that that feels good and <laughs> so i'm not allowed to work uh, overtime anymore but i think like me and my whole family we has always been like workaholics my dad has worked so so much my mom as well and also my brother um so i think it's going to be hard for me to not do that anymore but now like they will not allow me to do that and i think that is what has to happen that somebody says to me that i'm not allowed to and another thing <laughs> that has happened if i do look a little bit strange i don't know if you've seen this but i did pierce my ear yesterday i did make a conch it's the conch in english as well so piercing here and i do love it the only thing is my ear is a little bit not sore but like i can feel that something isn't like it's supposed to be and also this is my sleeping side so i have to sleep on this side and on my back so this night wasn't the best night i have, have ever had but uh, yeah i did want it in this ear because i have a helix piercing here so i didn't want like too much here and nothing here but i want to do more piercings in my ears but like a cartilage i'm so sorry piercing isn't like the sweetest thing in the world i did this one when i was 15 i think so i've had it for 18 years and it can still be a little bit um, annoyed can a piercing be annoyed but i hope that you get what i mean it has never been like infected or anything but um, yeah if you have a cartilage 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 if you have a piercing here in the stiff parts of your ear i guess you know what i'm talking about but yeah i do love this little one i want to have in a ring but it has to heal first and he said my piercer after like in the six week i can change the jewelry but i guess that i will wait longer than that and i went to the same guy that did my septum because yeah he's really good i also want like is it called a rook i don't know if it's a rook in english as well but one here i think in this year but this is so small and i also want like one here and maybe one i don't know or maybe one here i, I don't know but i want more piercings in my ears but i am always so afraid that it's going to hurt like a bitch i did these holes when i was eight i think um and i cried and i cried and i cried i wasn't supposed to get them until i was 12 i think but my childhood in like school was a little bit rough <laughs> so my mom was like i think it was when i was eight and uh, she was like okay because it's not that good in school and you have been nagging on about this for i think i started when i was like six she was okay you're allowed to do it or was i nine when i took them i don't know but my mom said when you're 12 at first but then because the school was quite of a hell when i was younger i was allowed to do them earlier and these hurted like hell and then this hurted like hell because i did the thing you're not supposed to do i took it with a piercing gun when i was 15. my mom did not know about it and i was young and stupid i do not recommend it because that hurted like fucking hell and then i have had two 
one piercing here and one here but then I stretched my ears so I had to take them out because it wasn't enough room for them and then I took my septum and then I took this one and that's everything that I've done and I'm always like so nervous that it's going to hurt like hell I know with my septum piercing I was so nervous and I have heard that it's a really painful piercing but it's not if if it's done correctly like in the soft spot as it's called it doesn't hurt and this was more painful than this one the only thing with this one was my upper lip it was like a little bit tender I don't know why but I couldn't like chew an apple because then my apple lip will go like this and it hurted my septum but it healed really good and uh, yeah i'm really happy with it and uh, okay this isn't looking super good maybe i can't do this anymore like talk and do my makeup i have stretched my septum and that hurted more than taking it uh, that hurted like hell to stretch my septum and it's supposed to do that because it's not a good thing to stretch. Okay, this isn't like purple at all. And now I don't know what I want to do. Maybe I should take two different shimmers on my lid. And another thing I want to talk about. <laughs> I think I mentioned it in one video. Like, do you remember all these high school videos? Um, that's one of my guilty pleasures like Mean Girls and uh, movies like that that came out early 2000 okay this wasn't a good brush for a shimmer why did I take that um, that is like my guilty pleasure when it comes to movies I love to watch it and you know when somebody is coming back to school all like all different like super cool clothes and new hair and new makeup and it's just looking fierce and like the whole school is frozen when they come in and everybody just stare do you know what moment I'm talking about one part of me want a moment like that I don't want to be back in high school though because I felt like shit but you know like that you come back as the person that you really want to be maybe that wasn't the case in these high school movies but I hope you <laughs> to get what I mean a part of me want that but a part of me is a little bit afraid of doing it I just started to cut my bangs pretty short um, and I think I do like it even though like immediately after I have fixed it I'm like oh my god it's way too short but I think I do like it and I also want to do but I don't know if this is a bad idea. I want to do a little undercut. Uh, like take away these, this chunk of hair on both sides. But I don't know if I want to do that. Because if you didn't know this, I have had a side cut. I was shaved this side. Like the whole head <laughs> on this side. This side of my head. It was shaved uh, and I did really love it but after five six years I was like okay maybe it's time for something new and it was not fun to save out half of your head I could hide it pretty good um, but it wasn't like the best time in my life 
after like a year I think it was down to here so I cut all my hair in the same length um, but yeah then I'm like okay what if I do two little undercuts and then I don't want them anymore I have to save them out but at the same time it's just hair so and I think it looks really cool and I think I do want to look like that but a little part of me is like what they're going to say about you at work that you are pathetic because you are too old for this I really wish that I didn't care what people things about me but uh, I do and especially when I'm having a bad day mentally like everything gets to me I'm trying to not care but it's really hard but yeah I'm thinking about um, booking an appointment with my hairdresser and ask her and maybe she's like do you remember the side cut? Because it was she that shaved it for me. But at the same time, it's just hair. It's going to grow out. And I think it could be quite easily to hide it. Like either if I'm putting up my hair in a ponytail to either pin it down or like take hair gel or something just to get it out of the way. I think it should be pretty easy. I managed the side cut, so I think I will manage a little undercut. I haven't decided though, yet. Please point me in the right direction. And also like the length of my hair, I don't know. A part of me want to save out my hair really long. I have had really long hair before. But it's just in the way all the time. I do not get people that have super long hair yes because it's it's just in the way and I always put my hair up in a ponytail when I have long hair because it's I can't do anything with with it it's just in the way so I don't know should I because this length this is not short and this is not long this is just hair and I don't know if I want to cut it, but then it's harder to have it in a po I don't know. I'm always in a crisis with my hair, it feels like. And okay, for my face, I have bought a new foundation. I have bought the Fresh Nude Foundation from Body Shop. I bought it in Fair 1N. Fair Neutral, the lightest shade. Hope this will work. And, and as you know, my low buy and... I think it was Anilke Lyremar that talked about this. I have had some backups some foundations. For example, of this one. This has expired. It did expire in April. And I have two other foundations. Backups. They have also expired. And first I was like, okay, I haven't had them open. So I'm sure it's not like a problem. I did use this. It did itch a little bit around my shin. And also I got two pimples like after I've used this three times and also like some bumps is I'm not going to use this and I'm not going to use the other ones that I have that have expired so I bought a new one and I've been so looking forward to this I do want to use a primer but you know what the primer situation I have this one from milk maybe I could take this one this is the Luminous Blur stick. It's not a favorite, but... And this primer I don't like that much either. And my favorite primer is empty. The High Gloss Primer from NYX. I did though get a tip from Anki about uh, one primer for Makeup Mecca. And think I will try my phone. Um, I think I'll try it when I have... Uh, if I don't have anything home that works. And I can read about the foundation. Some people I follow have loved this one. 
Well, some people has heated it. It's light to medium coverage. It gives a natural nude glow and it's you're going to feel refreshed. And I have tried the concealer for uh, from this and I did love it. So I'm going to shake this. The only thing that I don't like about this, it's a spatula on it. Can you see? It's a spatula because apparently the mm, pump wasn't recyclable. And we will see now how the color is looking on my pale little ass. I think it looks good. And they have, I think it's 40 shades of this. And that's more that they had before. Do you think the shade is really good? And I love that. Um, the couple of latest years brands has been so much better with lighter foundations when i started to do makeup it was like impossible for me to find a foundation that was light enough and with the correct undertone because i do have a neutral undertone and often lighter foundations has been with a coal undertone because i guess it fuck it's itch i can't itch oh that hurt a little bit um <laughs> and it's usually i think it's a little bit more common to have really light skin with a coal undertone but if I take one of those, I do look pink in my face. In the camera it looks a little bit so and so, but in... I don't know if you can see, but the difference between my neck and my face isn't like really there. <laughs> the only thing is, always when I put on foundation when I'm filming. I don't know how other people do this, but it's always like the white balance is like, oh, hello, it's a ghost on camera. I don't know why it is like that for me. Because it's not like that if I do pause it. Okay, I'm just setting my under eyes with my LH Cosmetics powder. It looks really good. Do you want to see it? Can I show this without looking too white? I don't know if you can see, but it do looks really, really good on my skin. Hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to try to use my Nobla powder and we will see how this works because I did repress this. I don't know if it's going to be work workable. So you see, because it was just a rim and I couldn't get like anything up with my brush. So I did repress it. We'll see if it can hold together. And we'll see how this works with this foundation. Because this has a little bit of color to it. I'm a little bit scared to use this if I'm going to be honest. Because I don't know if it will break. But I have actually bought a new powder. Because that is almost over. Do you want to see maybe? Um, I bought this one from Beauty Act. It's a Swedish brand. And I have what I have heard... Um, it's pretty similar to the Nabla one. 
because the person that I got to recommend for, for this one did recommend this one so I'm trusting her she doesn't know who I am though but I'm trusting her and it was like 20% off and I was like my Nobla powder is going out of business soon did I uh, so I thought it was good to buy a new one and do you know what My base looks really good. I think I do like this foundation. So happy. So, what more to talk about? Was I done with my talking about um, high school movements? So, has anything else happened mm, on my vacation? No, we have actually had a pretty a good vacation. Maybe part of me thinks that it has been a little boring from time to time, but at the same time, when my boyfriend has been saying this to me, he's like, you need to just take a chill. And I know that, and I think it was the vacation lost, no? Yeah, maybe last summer we were everywhere and nowhere all the time and then it was like three days off and then we were going back to work and that was not fun so i guess that this is better it's just that i don't i don't know i think i need to learn again how to take take a chill which scares me a little bit okay I'm going to take Truth from Nabla as my blush. But yeah, we have had it good. We have been to my parents and met my brother and his girlfriend for the first time. And we have, I have been hanging out with some friends and we have been to Ikea, I did a little mini vlog on my Instagram and we have been to a big department store in Sweden that is called Gekos um, and yeah I guess that's what we have been doing we have been cooking food I have found a new favorite ramen soup it's delicious and um, we made a pizza yesterday yeah and just stuff like that and we have watched uh, a new series that I got as a recommendation from one of my friends what we do in the shadows it's a comedy show with maybe a little bit of dark humor about vampires and the first few episodes I was like what is this but my friend she said like it's it's a little bit strange in the beginning but just give it some episodes and I think you will like it and she was right because the first episodes I was like what is this what did she recommend it but now I do really like it um, have we done anything else? I don't think so, and it it feels good. I, I think I am ready to go back to work, but that doesn't mean that I want to, but I have to, so yeah, not go back to work is not the choice. I need money to pay my bills and also I don't think that I could be in Sweden like a stay at home mom we don't have any kids but like staying home is not like a thing in Sweden and I think I would never be able to do that because I think I would be so bored 
I am an introvert and I do not like to hang out with people. I do like my friends, but being around people isn't the favorite thing in the world for me. But without meeting anybody except my boyfriend. And I like need routines in my life. And I like that about being at work at like I have a routine. And maybe now when I'm not allowed and more to work, work over time. Maybe I can get my life back on track again. I really hope so. Okay, do you know what? This has been a super long video and I'm not finished yet. So I think I'm going to do my brows off cam. God, I do love this foundation. I think it looks really good. Um, I'm going to do my brows off cam. Some mascara. Find a lipstick. And then I come back and wrap this up. Because now I think I actually had made it longer than 10 minutes. And yeah, I will fix the rest of cam and then I come back. So did I fuck it up with the lips a little bit as usual? Yes. <laughs> For my waterline I did take Peach Fuzz from Colourpop. On my lips I took Anemia from Lethal. And um, this LH Cosmetics Infinity Lip Gloss in Mellow Mauve. I don't know if it did go super great with the eyes. It did not but it is what it is. So this is the finished look and I do... I really like this foundation it will be fun to see how it holds up but i think it looks really really good and the color looks really really good as i'm super happy with it and i do like this look it's not that purple so i did use um i took this light shimmer in my inner corners and i did use this one this This one in my inner corners, this and this on my lid, and this and this in my crease. And yeah, I do like the look. And I guess that was all for this video. I <laughs> hope it didn't get too long. But it felt good to uh, be a little bit kind of back with my Get Ready With Me. So I do know that you like them. And I do like to sit down lipstick on my teeth and I do like to sit down and do a longer video and a little bit more of shadow video I do hate to edit them though but that's just something I have to live with so I do hope that you have liked this video and I'm going to okay I'm not going to make promises that I cannot keep but I hope that I will find now when I start work again find my way back to film I hate that I talk about this so much but it's something that I feel like I want to talk about with you and like my feelings about it and I know that you are super supportive of me and I'm so thankful for that and you still watch me even though I don't put up videos for weeks but I just want to put up more if we say it like that and maybe now when I'm not allowed to work overtime and more I'm going to be home earlier so and I think I'm going to have more energy when I maybe just work eight hours a day and not ten yes well, yeah I do really hope that you like this video and I hope that um, I will see you in the next one and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. How can I mess this up?